Hey everybody, how you guys doing? It's Manny. It's a spread and it's the conference championship round. Well anyway, I hope the weather is better where you are than here in Southern California where it's been raining for three days in a row. No fun. Just no fun. But anyway, show must go on. So conference championship round. Um, see who represents the AFC and the NFC in the Super Bowl. It's in Miami in a couple weeks. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure I heard that. All right, for the AFC, the New York Jets are traveling to Indy. And, of course, the Jets had that pretty big surprise win last week over the San Diego Chargers. Uh, the Chargers were pretty much off their game the whole time. Even though they had an early lead, they just couldn't hold on to it. And the Jets surprised everybody with uh, that running back. I want to say his name is, oh, I don't even know his name. But and Mark Sanchez played pretty well also, as well as the defense, offensive lines. Just real good. So the Jets, pretty pumped up to be in Indianapolis, seven and a half. Now, that's one of those funny lines, guys. I mean, you know, at seven, it'd be easier to go towards Indy. At seven and a half, it's kind of tough. But the more I think about it, the Jets kind of got lucky last, last week. They um, benefited from the kicker. San Diego's kicker missed three times. I think that's the first time in his career that's happened, Nate Cady. So I just don't think that New York will stay in the game, especially I can see Indy scoring first, especially on that turf move it right down the field, and I don't think that the Jets can play catch-up two weeks in a row, especially against this team. I think Indy is going to cover. I think they're going to get out to that early lead and just be too much for the Jets to handle. Either way, I think the Jets have had a hell of a year with their first-year head coach, Rex Ryan. He was, uh, of course, the defensive coordinator at the Ravens, went over to New York Jets. He brought uh, linebacker Bart Scott and a couple other parts from that team, I think, over that signed um, you know, with the Jets, so his defense is very good. But I think Indy's going to represent the Super Bowl, uh, the AFC in the Super Bowl. So we'll see. I think they are going to cover the seven and a half. So go with that. All right, NFC, Minnesota, New Orleans. Now this is, of course, the game uh, everybody's probably looking forward to on that turf. High-scoring teams. Uh, both these teams play in a, in a dome, so they should. Um, Minnesota should be ready for that turf. Um, three and a half. Now this game. It's a tough one also, not easy. Uh, Brett Favre, this is what he came back for. He was saying that in a press conference. Everybody's happy to see him still in the tournament. And New Orleans, a pretty feel-good story too. Drew Brees uh, finally getting him to that next level um, to the conference championship round. New Orleans favored by three and a half. What do you guys think? Not an easy one. I like Minnesota. I like Minnesota to get pressure with the Williams wall on Drew Brees. I think... Uh, Jared Allen, too. He's awesome. Um, I think that Minnesota will... They get that hot receiver, Rice. Um, I can see Favre hooking up with him quite a few times. And uh, New Orleans, I think that they're going to score a lot of two points, too. But I can see this... The three and a half is pretty scary, because I can see either team winning this game. But, you know, if New Orleans uh, wins it by three, or if it goes into overtime, I mean, that extra half a point is going to be a killer. But I do like Minnesota. I think that they're going to go to the Super Bowl. It's also the Super Bowl I want to see. I want to see the white, you know, the cold stress and all white with Minnesota and the purple people eater uniforms. I think that would be pretty neat. Um, either way, New Orleans is, is really good, guys. I mean, Reggie Bush is showing flashes of, you know, his college brilliance. I mean, he's fast. He's always been dynamic, but... They just have to figure out what to do to him, you know. It seems like he's really efficient in the flat and, you know, catching little passes and stuff like that. Especially when he can isolate himself or, you know, get a little bit of open field because he, he's really fast. Um, you know, Minnesota's got a similar player in Percy Harvin. Perhaps he's more, like, versatile. They seem to get him the ball more. Um, Adrian Peterson hasn't been super hot, but you, you got to look for him to make a, an impact. I mean, it's now or never. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Minnesota, take the three and a half, and Indy with the seven and a half. Um, if you could get this at seven, even better. Minnesota, if you see it at three, that's kind of ugly, but I haven't yet. I've seen it at three and a half, and I wouldn't be surprised if it went up to four. So that's what we're going to do. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your picks, and uh, enjoy the games this weekend.